Now that we're done with introductions, let's take a look uh, at the tool that we will be using for this class. The tool we'll use to tell our stories is called Power BI Desktop, and you can download it from powerbi.com or Microsoft Store. If you're taking this class, I assume that you have Power BI Desktop already installed and ready to go. Let's talk about things we will be using inside of the Power BI Desktop. At the top, we have a ribbon. And the ribbon tabs that we care about are Home, Insert, and View. The part of the desktop that will be getting the most action is the canvas or a page. Pages could be added by clicking uh, on a plus sign or deleted by clicking on the little X uh, in the top right corner of the page. They can also be renamed by double clicking on the name of the page or they could be duplicated by right clicking on the page. Moving to the right, we have a visualization area. And at the top of this area, we see the charts that can be placed on our page. Below the charts, we see a couple of buttons that allow us to configure our charts and also to modify the look and feel and other behaviors of those charts. These options and behaviors can, be, can vary uh, depending on the type of the charts that we're working with. Moving all the way to the right, we see our data set or a model. I will have a more detailed discussion about what uh, a model or a data set is. For now, let's just say that in each desktop file, we will have a certain type of information available to tell our story. This information is grouped into different buckets or tables. Uh, these tables will have arrows next to them. And you could click on these arrows to see what we will call either measures or attributes. Let's click on our metrics folder or um, table. And then here we have uh, several measures and we call them measures because they have little calculators um, right next to the left of them. When you click into, click into the other tables, you will see that they may or may not have uh, icons next to them. Because they do not have little calculators next to them, we will call them attributes. For the purpose of this class, let's think of measures uh, as something that we could be training over time, like revenue. And let's think of attributes as something that we will be using as a lens for our analysis, like product, customer, or division. For example, we might say, uh, let's see what our revenue is by customer uh, or over time or by division.